Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Gotta put that work in. So, I put that work in. Like, the first comic that put me under his wing and took me, spent time with me to get better was Phase on Love. Yeah, that's yeah. my boy, so man. So, that's, you know, so, I mean, we're best friends to this day. That's hard. That's you know, hard. And, and, you know, he's never... Just catered, you know. He's not. He he's he's built a lot of comedians, a lot of comedians that are out there. He's been you doing know? it a long time. Yeah, but and then you know it is. I call him the lazy comic. He should. He should. <laughs> he, Why are you calling him because, that? Because he should be the greatest. You know, but because he's such a great person and, and a great actor, people sleep on his comic, mm. his comedian yeah, angle. Yeah. Because the comedy angle is what started him. But yeah. you know he loves his he loves his acting. Yeah, but mm -hmm. so I still think they, they don't even you know like you've never seen a special and that's his choice that you haven't seen him in his special yet mm -hmm. because he wasn't in a rush where everybody's rushing they want to get to Netflix they want to get to Netflix you know that's not he's gonna do his special when he wants to do his special yeah, before he retires he 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 travels when he wants to travel. Do you believe him that he said he gonna retire? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's my ass dead crap. Well, I told him no when he, he came take, on here. He take time off. He not retired. He not re we not letting him he, retire. You know why? Because he can't stay. He, he can't. It's, it's, it's in him. He's going to get it's bored. In him. He gets bored. He takes breaks. He'll do a couple movies. He'll come back on the road. He hates the road. That I know. He hates airports. He hates the road. You know, but... It's in him because. But when y'all go through the airports, that's the one, one thing I've always wondered. When y'all um, go through these airports, don't y'all get bombarded by people like, can, can I get yeah, that's him. pictures? That, that's exactly. Can I get that's exactly. They, 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 and, they, he can't move, can he? He can't move. That's why he hits the airports. You know, and you know what? He never turns down a picture. A picture. You know, like, like his, yeah, no his, matter how much he hates, love it, his fans. You know, like because it, you know you he'll be sitting down and they'll come up. We went to breakfast yesterday, and he was like. Oh, gee, the cook came out from the back. The the waitress. I, I don't mean to bother you. Well, yeah, you are. You're know, trying to eat pancakes right now, and it's not. But people, you got to remember, they're the ones that built him. You know, that's yeah. why he does what he does. But people do that yeah. because they don't know if they'll ever see him again. Well, and and, and, and and you know, you don't realize which he does realize how much, how much uh, joy. Yeah, it brings you people. bring in this in this ugly world, especially yeah. as a comedic actor or a comedian. Like you ain't gonna see. Uh, uh, you're not seeing Faison in a love story <laughs> without making somebody laugh. Oh, he gonna right. bring it. He gonna bring you know, it. He, 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 whether it be an adventure movie, even his he adventure gonna bring movie, it every Billy time. Tucker, it's funny from the beginning, <laughs> the lines, but he brings so much joy to people's lives, yeah. especially us as comics that, you know, like I, I, I'm on the road also now with uh, uh, Gary Owen mm -hmm. and that was through I've never Faison. seen him perform before. So that was through Faison, mm -hmm. right? And it was kind of it, it solidified because I was with Phase On. Phase On right. was doing movies. I wasn't with Phase On for a yeah. while, and it was like, yeah, I had an opportunity to go on with Gary, and you know, I see how these guys live their lives. You know, Phase On is of course at such a level of I mean, with his movies and things like that, but people just bombard him and they get mm -hmm. you know. So we live this life with these comedians, and you know, I I, I shot a special. And we had it on hold because it was a culture, a cancel culture thing going on. Oh. So what's happened is, as comedians, knowing your place, you know, because um, we were calling it features, right? Because that's what they call the comic that opens up for the headline is right. the feature. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the most important role to a headliner to, to build someone up. And that's how we learn how to be. Because some of the best comedians I know are features. Mm -hmm. You know, they can headline. You know, I can headline. But we don't, we're not ready for that till we learn. That's the argument we was having Earlier. before about about Country Kevin mm -hmm. and all of that, you know. Oh, here we go. I'm not well, doing this. Well, here's the truth. Country Wayne never featured for anybody. He didn't. So let me tell you who I work with. I, of course, Faison. He's, mm -hmm. I owe him everything. Faison, Charlie Murphy. Uh, and that's the little ones. I've done mm -hmm. Adele Givens. I've done Lunell. Wow. I'm open for D.L. Hughley, I'm open for Gary Owen, um, open for Kevin Wands. Uh, I mean, it is. I've worked with all. The, when See, I say the great females, yeah, but how do you? How do you, Kevin? Well, that's a different type of like. His comedy is different. His stand up is not the same as. It's no, a different. It, it, no, Kevin started. If you, you, people don't know, Kevin. Kevin was right there doing the same barbecue joints and little comedy clubs. 
Kevin, that's, you know, now it's because you, Kevin, that you see how is commercialized. Was you, how was it when you was working with him early on? I, I, did, I did a weekend, right? I just was an open guest. And it, Kevin is probably one of the, another one of the most smart, smartest businessmen. He's the one that told me to hold on the special because um, so many people go to him for advice. Yeah. Because what he did was he started out getting his first contract, right? Live Nation, going on tour. And that, as soon as his contract was over, he didn't sign another one. He created his own company, and he created his own tours. Mm -hmm. So, and then he has his clique of guys that he keeps, and that's what started. So we had a clique, and I wanted to go up, and, and Faison was like, no, nah, you got to relax, right? Because his guys were the plus, plastic cup boys. We were Faison's guys. Faison, we called ourselves nasty boys. So, you know, myself, comedian Mario Hodge, we were like, we'll, we'll eat those guys up, you know, because we, we didn't think they were funny. You know, that's just a little competitive edge, you know. But, you know, we learn from these headliners. So you learn from a Faison. You learn, Faison gets on, you know, even now, at some point, if Faison doesn't see you grow, he'll give you the advice, he'll give you opportunity, but then you can't get on the road no more. Wow. <laughs> it's not, there's no disrespect. You got to go do your own thing. Yeah. You can't be the same stale Bread, you know, that's why, you know, when I got his blessing to go on the road with Gary, it was one of those things was it was like, well, grow. You know, Gary was doing a lot more stages and the only way I can get better was getting on the road um, and earning a spot. So we got to earn our spot. You know, we, you know, you, funny is, is funny. You could be funny in the conversation, right? We could sit here and laugh. But, you know, I, I opened up in Memphis. I opened up in Mississippi, Alabama, Detroit, Florida. West Coast, East Coast. Now I'm a Hispanic comic. I'm opening up for urban shows. I'm doing all these cities. I've done, last year was 35 cities, over 300 shows. And that's where you learn to get better. Because the crowd, you know, you got to make that crowd in that city laugh, like Austin. You know, I, I was just in Austin about four months ago, but then I come back to Austin. You got to know a little bit about the city, who's out here. You know, I would never... Met you yesterday. I would never think I see Jamaican in, in Austin, you know. <laughs> and then blacks, blacks in Texas are different, you know. Yeah. Blacks in Texas are different than blacks in, in from the East Coast or some of these big cities. So we, uh, you know, I guess transposing and growing is what makes a better comedian. Mm -hmm. So I think the main thing you got to understand is when I see, you know, when I come out to see. The, Phase on shows like like yesterday, like I think it's a it's a difference because you can the, the 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 comics are seasoned, and you know that you're getting that level of professionalism with the guys that he's choosing, and I think that's what you know that that because I've been going to a lot of shows and you get these you either get like five or six people that's going up in the lineup and they trying to figure out, you know, how to, how to, and it'll be, you like, he was good, but that one wasn't that good, you know. Well, yeah, uh, and, yeah oh, that, that one there hot, you know, make the crowd and, cold and, and, and hot. It's, and it's even hard for us, so like, it's hard for us to go on the road, with because here's the thing, like, you know, right now, you know, it's me and Scruncho this weekend with Faison, right, and, you know, Scruncho is a legend, right, Scruncho is, is man, he's such a, a beast, he's a beast, and then, you know, this is the first time actually Scruncho and I, you know, we knew each other, we work together. Yeah. So, you know, I got to be a beast. And then we rotate. I open for him. He opens for me. But we know what we got to do. And then, but we're only doing 15 minutes, 20 minutes each. 15, 20 where minutes. Both of us can stay up there for an hour. Oh, yeah. You can do tell. our own show. Yeah. So we got to cut it down because that's not our job. Our job is to make sure we but you can the tell already. You could tell y'all not not just amateurs that y'all got it. You know, a lot of times, like I said, you go to these shows and it's one hit, then the other one don't hit, then the other one well, hit. And that's a different type of show. Comedy's like everything else. That's like going to a concert, right? You know, like you know, you have your, you know, it, it's if you don't you go to a level a lower level show, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get locals, people that get on stage. So it doesn't, you know, like I I told you I did. I was on stage over 300 times last year. Wow, last year? Last year alone. So, you know, we're doing anywhere from five to 10 shows in a weekend. So you gotta learn, you gotta learn your set. You gotta, then you gotta change your set if you're going back to a city. Like I had to do a little bit different because I was in Austin four months ago. So I can't just do the same jokes. And then you just transform into the next year that you're going to return cities. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.